In this question, we have a graph. So of course, we'll start out with our Oizerga. The origin is here. Y-axis is speed in normal units. Time, normal units. So any questions about velocity or time, we'll read. The slope is delta V over delta T, which by definition is acceleration. And the area is V times T, which would be the distance. Now, I didn't say displacement because this is speed. The area of a speed time graph is the distance. So now, we have the speed of a truck as it moves along a straight level road. So we know it is slowing down, which means there is acceleration. And there must be some kind of force acting on it. We also know the momentum will be decreasing because of the velocity. So that's just all the things that should pop into mind at that point. What describes a method to determine the distance the truck travels? Select two answers. Two answers. So the distance is the area. So we might be looking for multiply, multiply, calculate, calculate the area. So choice D we know is one of the two choices. So what is another way we could do this? We could find out the distance. Well, the distance is, is the area. So our other choices might be equivalent to finding the area. So let's take the average speed of 18 meters per second. Let's see if that's true. 6 and 36. So uh, 30 plus 6 divided by 2 is 18. So that is true. Take the average speed of 18, which is this, and multiply it by the travel time of 10. Well, notice that's another way of finding the area. So it looks like choice A is our other option. Multiply half the initial speed by the 10 seconds. Well, half the initial speed isn't the average speed. The implication of that one is that no matter what the slope of this curve is, if we took the, ha the average <laughs> of the, or one half the initial speed times the 10 seconds would give us the same distance. And we can see that it, that, that, <clears throat> Multiplying by half the speed can't possibly be it because the motion curve could have been any one of these three. And doing that would give us the same answer no matter what the graph is. So that can't be a choice. Calculate the slope of the line. The slope of the line is the, is the acceleration. And then use the formula D equals 1 half AT squared. Well, our formula for position is 1 half AT squared plus V zero T plus X zero. Now we could say the distance is 1 half AT squared if the initial position is zero, which is reasonable. But it must also be true that the initial speed is zero, which it's not. So we can't use that one because the initial speed is not zero. Uh, 